Not many people know that San Francisco Bay is teeming with sharks. Um, but it's a leopard shark, and it's a good candidate for our tagging program. So we're going to catch, bring it on board and measure Reporting it. Reporting for uh, Quest Radio, I joined Chris Spaulding and a team from San Francisco's Aquarium of the small. Bay as they measured and tagged as many sharks as they could catch in order to find out more about these elusive creatures. So that guy is 120 total length. So we're looking at about four feet. Some sharks, like these leopard sharks, are thought to spend their entire lives here. First as pups in the marshy channels of the South Bay, and then later in the bay's open waters. These researchers hope to learn more about shark migration as well as their hunting behavior. So these pits along the side of the shark that you can see here, those little black dots that line around the snout and the side of the mouth are called the Ampullia lorenzini. Those are used as electroreceptors for the shark to find um, subtle Im you know, electronic impulses it can pick up from its, from its prey that may be hiding in the sand, like a flounder or, or a crab or something that's, that's burrowed down. They give off these little char electronic charges. Each pit is filled with like this jelly-like substance, which, which actually picks up those electrical vibrations and sends it to the, basically to the brain or to the, to the nervous system so the shark can interpret what it is. We're gonna get a length on Contrary to popular belief, you won't find great white sharks in the bay, but there are as many as 11 other species of sharks here, including angel sharks, seven gills, and spiny dogfish. Okay, I'm gonna let this guy go. There he goes. Oh, and in case you're wondering, none of them eat people. 